it was arcing, and it was creating basically a two foot radius of just massive RF noise. It took me a, a matter of minutes to determine that the RF was coming from the rack itself, and we can start to have unshielded emitted RF radiation from that device. One other major factor that can affect RF is something we called outer band interference. What this is, is a device that you may not know of exists on your stage or your set or wherever you may be that is emitting some RF interference that you're not aware of. This can come from literally anything that has electricity running through it. For example, I was on a show a, a number of years ago and my RF rack, the received microphone system, lit up like a Christmas tree essentially. All the RF noise was through the roof and it happened in an instant. It took me a matter of minutes to determine that the RF was coming from the rack itself. And so I began to try to figure out what in my rack was causing noise. In this rack specifically, we had a piece of rope light that was around the back so that essentially I could see the connections on the back in a dark environment. Unplugging that rope light uh, proved to be the culprit. The rope light had a problem in its electric current. It was arcing and it was creating basically a two foot radius of just massive RF noise. So understand that anything on your stage or your set that has electronic component to it, that electronic component can fail and we can start to have unshielded emitted RF radiation from that device. So anything that has power can be a culprit. There are some major factors that we know exist on most stages. LED walls are notoriously RF noisy. Some old moving lights can have some RF noise, but don't rule anything out if you have a major RF noise catastrophe. Look at anything that has power, start to unplug things one at a time, if you have a directional spectrum analyzer, an RF Explorer, or some sort of scope, this can help you try to trace the source. You can move closer and further away from certain devices and watch the noise floor increase or de decrease. Obviously, an in increased noise floor means that that device itself that you're closer to is likely causing some RF noise.